Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, Tuesday's trading, the 28th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's uh, go through the actual uh, market numbers, end of day numbers. Certainly an impressive uh, rally on the FTSE and European indices, especially the German DAX uh, as well. Uh, let's just look at the numbers here. Uh, after hours, we're certainly continuing as well. German DAX 100, up 150 whopping points, okay. Uh, certainly touching that 12 200 level, CAC 40 higher as well, 28. FTSE, MIB, IBEX, certainly all across the board. FTSE 100 certainly manages to move higher as well, even though we have Brexit uh, on the horizon and also the Scottish independence vote uh, uh, certainly has gone through and it will uh, certainly be, uh, has certainly been voted through in the Scottish uh, uh, Parliament and certainly will be uh, another uh, reason for political uncertainty and, and risk aversion. So very, very surprised, very, very confused as to uh, how the markets are certainly pushing higher at present. Whether you want to attribute that to the USD JPY moving higher on the back of uh, obviously dovish comments, uh, certainly uh, dovish comments in terms of uh, the uh, the actual uh, market itself, uh, in terms of Fed members certainly got uh, resorting back to gradual uh, and back to um, uh, a wait and see approach. Whether markets are interpreting that as being bullish in terms of U.S. equities, but really it is a U.S. equity led rally. If I bring up the S&P 500 here and just show you, you can see we've rallied off uh, two three twenty zone up to uh, two three sixty. Very very impressive into that two hundred MA now. Okay, so so one hell of a rally on the U.S. equities. Also with regards to Nasdaq, we're certainly right back at the highs now. The high will, previous high was five. 430, 5440, we're back at 5420. So has been very, very impressive to say the least. Okay. Now, in terms of economic data from the Eurozone, uh, realistically, what we had today was the industrial uh, orders and industrial sales from Italy. That was certainly negative. The US data certainly came in more or less in, uh, in line, nothing uh, spectacularly um, uh, beating in terms of the numbers. Now, the Red Book Index certainly came in slightly negative. Uh, goods trade came in more or less online. Consumer confidence really was the uh, the uh, overwhelming uh, bullish variable. But again, how much can you interpret that uh, in terms of the market reaction? Okay, we have Fed George and Fed Yellen as well. From my perspective, all sounded dovish. Certainly wasn't as hawkish as everybody expected. And but yet still, USD JPY moves higher. So whether we're attributing that to risk, the Nikkei certainly has moved higher as well. Oil prices certainly have uh, stalled at forty eight point seven. So certainly a mixed bag of events. From my perspective, certainly still are maintaining a bearish stance on the FTSE 100. Okay, now in terms of the markets, let's see exactly where we are from a technical uh, setup. Now the German DAX certainly goes higher and tests that double top, folks. Okay, double top at 12,150. Now do we break through? Okay, or do we retrace? It's a good question. Okay, do we break through or do we retrace? It's a good question. So we'll certainly find out as to which way the, the German DAX is headed. Okay. Uh, in terms of the 60 minute chart, really, it's all about double top, really, now. Uh, all I can focus really on is double top. Yes, you do have an unfilled gap that's been left behind now at uh, 1995. Uh, again, double top at 12,160. So we'll see how the German DAX reacts, okay, in terms of the next move there. So I think that really is, sums up the, the market move. In terms of the uh, French CAC itself, again, back to double top at uh, 5055. Okay, so again, back to that double top at 5060 on the daily chart. Okay, weekly chart on the French CAC again with Le Pen certainly winning uh, as well in terms of her uh, gaining ground. Should I say not winning, but certainly gaining ground back into that resistance. The uh, next key resistance is seen at 5200 and then you have 5270 on the French CAC on the weekly chart. Okay, so daily chart again, really yardstick is if we break through that 5060 certainly a bullish signal okay in terms of the FTSE 100 a very very impressive thrust today if we go to the weekly chart we were on the verge of breaking lower in terms of rising contracting wedge pattern what happened we certainly reversed very powerfully there you can see a bottoming tail so daily chart as well bullish engulfing candle today certainly helped by a stronger oil price and talk of Iran and potential uh, OPEC cut extension etc uh, you are into resistance now at 7345 with Brexit news uh, obviously uh, with the next 24 hours certainly being triggered also with regards to Scottish referendum argument as well that certainly will help so two arguments there okay 
In terms of resistance, you have 7345, you have uh, 7400 now on the FTSE itself. So we'll see whether or not 7400 certainly comes into play. Uh, after hours, we are as high as 7360, so it'll be interesting to see how the FTSE reacts. Also, FTSE, uh, the US markets as well, markets certainly will be focusing on US equities, how they close. So you can clearly see here 7350, 7347 key resistance on the FTSE. Coming back to read, uh, certainly expecting a retest of that 7320 breakout. And then we'll see exactly how the FTSE responds thereafter. Okay, in terms of euro stocks, let's just quickly go over to the euro stocks here. Certainly a breakout, impressive one at that. Uh, daily chart at the moment, again, the pivot high was uh, four, uh, 3475. Okay, so we'll see whether or not we can break that 3475. If we do, then obviously the bulls certainly have some sway and certainly have some command. So bear that in mind. Okay, 60 minute chart again, you're going back. We failed the HS formation. That certainly has been smashed and taken out of the equation now. And again, it's back to 3470 double top. We'll see exactly if the market can hold. OK, so you, as you can see here, German your European equities certainly into those double tops. OK, well, do we double top and drop or do we double top and break higher? FTSE itself, uh, again, with Brexit being triggered, you one would think the political uncertainty would be uh, would be very high and therefore looking for risk aversion that isn't the case at present so again that's certainly something to take on board as well on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now